This has been a uh, charge for at least 200 years that there are two accounts of Genesis. One in Genesis 1, which is a, um, an account that uh, speaks of God as Elohim, the creator God, who made everything and uh, it uh, has more of a dry background. And then there is Genesis 2, 4 following, or basically all of Genesis 2, and that one is the Lord God, uh, Jehovah Elohim, or Yahweh Elohim. And uh, that one is more of a wet beginning and begins with man, whereas the other one led up to man. And so some have said these are two different accounts. I don't think that's true at all. I think that, uh, as a matter of fact, the two accounts go together because of the style of the writer. The writer really does try to trace out everything in general, first of all, and then comes down to the specific. For example, in tracing all the families of Noah, he takes the sons of uh, Jephthah and of Ham, uh, but then comes back to Shem, the Shemites, because he's interested in the Shemitic or Semitic peoples and that comes out in detail. So we're told about the whole creation order in Genesis 1 first, and then we come to Genesis 2. But they're not conflicting accounts. I think Genesis 2 is a further elaboration, and the focus is sharpened, and we zero in on the Garden of Eden, and on man particularly. But um, basically, the two belong together. And there is no evidence that uh, these are contrary uh, one to the other. All of the evidence that tries to show that they are separate are subjective. There are no external evidences or criteria by which we can demonstrate that.